Okay. And that was question mark by XXX Tentacion. And let me know if I'm saying the name wrong. I feel why it's called question mark because there's no commitment to any one sound. The way the album started and the way it ended, you know, with that, you know, the acoustics and, you know, the, the low bass and then kind of the more alternative sound, which is what X calls it, that more alternative sound, where X isn't like necessarily rapping. He's uh, kind of doing more of the punk rock, melodic, you know, almost sing-songy type feel. That is the bag that I like him in on this album. He has a few verses, he raps a little bit, but where I like him the most is where he was when that, when that album ended and when it started. And on songs like Sad, on songs like Numb, those are my favorite songs on the album. I think it's called Question Mark, because I don't even think X kind of knew where he was going with this album. He probably just had some songs. Some parts of the, of the album, like the beginning, all the way up to track, let me take a look at this. Track number, up to track number 13-ish. It sounded intentional. It sounded like he knew where it was going, but then some parts, like the track 14, I don't even speak Spanish, and then some of those other songs, the Smash with PNB Rock. Some of the other songs, kind of sounds like, oh, we'll just throw this in, add some meat to the album. I don't think he knew what direction he was for sure going on. So like, what do we title this album? Like, I think that's kind of where the question mark comes in. Like, what are we doing here? Like, so I, I say that to say, I do like this album, but I like X when he's in that, you know, alternative kind of punk rock bag. Mm. The verses, he could spit like on a song with Joey Badass, Infinity 888, X can rap. There are some times where he's doing like the Uzi Vert Playboy Cardi thing, which I oh, fucks with Uzi Vert. The Playboy Cardi thing, I've never been really a huge fan. But I think X does those things better, but I would just rather hear the more alternative side. Because uh, I think that's where he sounds really good and that's where he, there's really no competition for him in rap for that style. I know back then you had a, a slew of rappers, especially on SoundCloud, who were gravitating towards that style. But now, even nowadays, like people, number one, it's difficult to do. And I said earlier, I wonder what music X listened to, because on a song with Travis Barker, Pain Equals Best Friend, like he kind of does his melody thing in the beginning where he just throws his melody, throws his voice, then he just goes into like metal and like that hard, aggressive sound. I'm like, what was he listening to because of where did you learn how to do that? Like you have to have heard it somewhere. So I wonder what he was listening to uh, during his time on this planet or to even be influenced enough to do that on a song. But I do like the creativity. There's a lot of creativity here. This is my first X album that I'm hearing. Maybe I should have heard 17 first, but this is the first one that I'm hearing. So I'd only heard Look At Me by X and I like seen like him doing live performances here and there but I don't know I can't even hear the song when he's doing those I can't and I hadn't heard the song so I wouldn't even know what I was hearing but I'll say he's I'll say this he's a very good songwriter although on this album I would like to hear some of these songs stretch a little longer some songs I can understand like okay certain songs they're it's short, it's, it's one verse, you know, it's quick, it's like two minutes, cool. But then other songs, it, f it feels incomplete. All of them don't feel incomplete just because they're short, but some of them do feel incomplete. So I would like to hear this, you know, some more effort put into the song to finish it because the first part was great. You know, but I'm sure the second part, if, if you would have finished it, would have been great also. But at the end of the day, this is what he chose to create. So I mess with this. If I had to rate this album out of five stars, which I don't like doing on the first listen, I get this four out of five stars. It's a great album. Like creative, multiple sounds. Like you're not gonna get bored when you're listening to it because he's bouncing all over the place. Like he's giving you this and that. And there's a Spanish song on here. There's a song where it sounds like it's a Joey Badass song. There's Travis Barker and it sounds like metal. And then you got X doing this more alternative thing, which is what he calls alternative. I think that's a good word for it. But. And I think that's why it's called question mark. Cause he's like, where are we going? He's like, I got all these styles. Like what I'm gonna do with this? Like how I'm gonna put this on the album? You know what? 
question mark. I don't know, bro, but here, just take it and be open-minded. <laughs> so let me know, what is the best, best X album? Is question mark the best or is 17 the best? Should I do 17 or did I already do the best album? Let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. RIPX, this is top5, repwebsite.com. Peace.